Hey guys, if you've been following my channel, you know that I recently bought this 10 year old Nissan Leaf. And today's question is all about how much battery degradation is there on a 10 year old battery pack. So the Leaf is actually one of the first mass produced EVs ever. Uh, but what I do like about it is that it gives you a really clear state of health right in the dashboard. So there's no mystery as to how much capacity is lost in the battery pack. Uh, but it's not really granular enough because it only gives you kind of 12 bars this one has 10 bars out of 12 bars. So I think that was pretty good. Uh, we'll see if I did well. Uh, but today I'm gonna use an iOS app called LeafSpy, also available for Android, in combination with this LE-Link OBD2 diagnostic tool, which is made to work with LeafSpy. And that's gonna give us really nerdy stats on the state of health of this car. So let's jump in and I'll show you around. So the OBD2 port in this car, like every other car, is under the steering wheel. I'm just gonna feel it out and insert it. I think I got it in. Uh, let's fire up Leaf Spy, which is a really cool application for Leaf owners. And I think I need to fire up the car to get live data. So let's do that now. So here I am connected to Leaf Spy and the OBD uh, adapter. And of course here it says 24 kilowatt hours. And then state of health reported is 79.9%. So almost 80% battery capacity retained in this 10 year old car. All right, so then the number is 80% after 10 years and 134,000 kilometers. So I think there's two ways to interpret this data. On one hand, it's not that impressive because uh, you could argue that a 10 year old combustion car is going to have more than 80% of its original capability. And I think that's a good argument. Uh, but I also think that um, if this was a more modern EV, it would hold up better after this many years and this mileage just because more modern EVs have uh, liquid thermal management of the battery pack to keep it cool and also a state of charge limiting. So you could limit your daily charge to let's say 80%. Uh, I'm sure this car has seen many, many 100% charges because there is no limiter. Um, so I think a more modern car would do better, but I also think that I found a good condition leaf because 80% on this car is a good result. Just because if you consider how small this battery pack is, 24 kilowatt hours is like one third the size of a more modern EV battery pack. That means it probably has three times the number of usage cycles to achieve the same mileage. So I have 130,000 kilometers on this car that would be the same as a Tesla battery pack doing like 390,000 kilometers, uh, which is kind of wild to have still 80% capacity after that many usage cycles. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this result. Let's get back to Leaf Spy. We have uh, reported 464 quick charges. So those are Chatamo uh, fast charges and 3,881 level one or level two charges. So um, that's more than one a day charging. So somebody has really been using this car quite a bit, or maybe they're kind of charging it like me where I would prefer to do many small charges versus one full charge. Um, but I think the really impressive thing here uh, that, that I like to see is on this screen, we have our uh, cell voltages across the whole pack. And this number here is actually the millivolt uh, difference, the delta between all the packs. So you can see here, it is really nice and tight. We only have seven to 12 millivolt difference between the highest and the lowest voltage in the battery pack uh, among the cells or the cell groups. So I actually, I think I did, I am quite lucky that I did get a good battery because um, I think I've read that something with more than 50 millivolt difference between low and high could be a, a sign of our early battery problems. So this is really good to see. And the other value here that I am a bit more concerned about is this HX value, 62%. This is an index within LeafSpy for uh, resistance, or like resistance within the battery pack. I believe this number is between uh, like 100 and 0 and 100%. And I think they say that if this drops below 60%, it could be signs of trouble, but I'm not quite sure yet. So this is something that I'm going to be keeping my eye on. Um, if there are any Leafs by experts and or Leaf experts watching this and 
if you think this is a ticking time bomb, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll, I'll share that and pin it. Uh, so what else? What other cool information we have here? Uh, odometer, quick charges, level 2 charges. On the next screen we have our battery temperatures. So on, the, uh, on this leaf there are three battery temperature sensors. Um, which again, we can also see the battery temperature of course on the dashboard over here. So we're at 5 bars. Um, it is a hot summer day. And then this screen here is just gauges that has voltages, uh, state of charge, our live kilowatt consumption, amp hours, uh, what is this percentage, oh this is state of health, 79.9, and this is our 12 volt battery voltage at 13 volts. And then this screen um, also updates in real time where we have our loads from like our battery auxiliary, so of course all of our things that are like the radio and the lights, that's consuming 200 watts. If we fire up the AC or heater these bars are also going to increase. This is the real-time uh, capacity remaining in the battery pack. So right now we are actually at 67% charge, uh, you could see on the dashboard. And that's giving me a, a guessometer range estimate of 81 kilometers. Uh, when I full charged this car, I got 137 indicated range on the, on the guessometer. Uh, but in real life driving, I... I think this is easily a 100 kilometer, 60 mile car in mixed driving with climate on. Uh, but it does, um, on the highway, it is, I think, less efficient. Maybe it's a 50 mile car with a bit of buffer, uh, which I think kind of lines up with the 79, 80% uh, capacity from new. Like I think from what I, from what I read online, uh, that is in line with the range people are seeing. Let me know what you think. Um, is 80% after 10 years good? Is it bad? Um, I think it's 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 all right um, because it's again it's a really early car. Um, I'm I'm gonna keep this for a little while and see how it is, how it holds up over time. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.